Hey guys, become your strength, release your limitless potential. Welcome to another video. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit tired right now, I just came home from work, but I'm going to do a video either way. So here we go. <laughs> Today I'm going to focus on this book, The Brain That Changes Itself by Norma Deutsch. Um, I've been mentioning this book in some of my other videos as well and <laughs> the thing is that I've, I've never actually managed to make a video about this but now finally I'm going to do it okay um, so the title in itself basically explains a lot of the content of the book the brain that ex that changes itself um, this book is all about what neuroscientists call neuroplasticity okay and that's the ability for the brain to change itself a lot of neuroscientists and, and brain scientists earlier on believed according to this book that uh, that the brain was developing through childhood through adolescence until you were like 20 or in the middle of your 20s and then your brain just like hardened it stopped developing and people believe this to be true it couldn't that the brain couldn't change at all after that point but the experiments that the author um, refers to in this book clearly explains the opposite I can read the back cover for you guys uh, the discovery that our thoughts can change the structure and function of our brains even into old age is the most important breakthrough in neuroscience in four centuries. In this revolutionary look at the brain, best-selling author, psychiatrist and psychoanalysis Norman Deutsch introduces both brilliant scientists championing this new science of neuroplasticity and the astonishing progress of the people whose lives they've transformed okay so in this book you'll meet a lot of you'll meet a lot of people uh, and hear their stories about how neuroplasticity changed their lives I remember there was this one girl named Barbara uh, let me see Barbara Barbara Aerosmith Young Barbara Aerosmith Young was a young lady born in 1951 she really really struggled with um, her way of learning right she um, she had a disabled uh, development in her brain so she had problems with uh, with her perception of time she uh, her spatial reasoning uh, was messed up her uh, kinesthetic perception the perception you have about where your limbs are she couldn't uh, receive this information in a proper way and she had really huge disabilities when it came to learning right but um, she found this article about very very old article about um, uh, it, it was basically an article that introduced this type of thing this neuroplasticity idea that the brain could change itself so she was thinking like hmm well if it is true then I can teach myself how to become better I can teach myself and I can really um, change my brain if I pay a lot of focus and do a lot of um, exercises right because that's what the neuroplastic theory is all about it's basically saying that yeah your brain is like a muscle and you can train it to become very good at whatever you want it to be good at right you basically just have to train <laughs> you have to work it um, and that's what Barbara did uh, so she went from being um, like almost a mental mentally disabled she she was had the um, uh, uh, the, the doctors would call her retarded because she she couldn't learn like other kids and she was um, different right she had she was sick um, mentally 
but she uh, made her own exercises. She even made her own exercises uh, that uh, she had problems, you know, um, per perceiving time and um, she couldn't even read the clock. So, so she made exercises that forced her to do these kinds of things, that forced her to read, that forced her to really see the connection between symbols and all these things that we think are mundane. She focused on that for such a long time and when she practiced it gave her results. Eventually she changed her brain and she became like everyone else. So that's an amazing success story and later on she also opened her own school dedicated to other kids that were that are just like her, or that were just like her. And this is a school where she basically uses the same principles as she did with herself, with herself, right? So amazing story. Um, and uh, yeah, that's like one of the main points of the book that you can, everything that has to do with your life can be changed. You just have to change the plasticity in your brain. Plasticity is something that happens all the time whether you want it or not. Um, I remember this one phrase from the book that said like use it or lose it, <laughs> right? If, if there's like skill or something that you will probably never do again you will lose it. That space that is inside your brain will be overtaken by other neurons that uh, is specializing in another skill, in something that you actually have use for, right? And there's there's one thing that, that really um, concludes the whole book here, it's, um, I, I can read it for you. The brain is far more open, the brain is a far more open system than we ever imagined. And the nature has gone so far to help us perceive and take in the world around us. It has given us a brain that survives changes in the world by changing itself. That's that's uh, you know that that's something you should remember. Um, another very interesting thing about that he mentions here in this book is. Uh, what he calls the critical period. So there's a period in your life where you learn effortlessly. This is something that I really want to emphasize to you guys out there that wants to become expert readers or no, um, learners. To keep the mind alive requires learning something truly new with intense focus. So this, again, as I mentioned, this uh, critical period is a period in your life, it's actually in your childhood, um, where you learn effortlessly. You don't even need to pay attention to stuff and you will learn things, right? Um, and there's a certain part in your brain, I, I can't recall what it is. Wait a minute, uh, it's actually called the nucleus basalis okay so that's probably a Latin word for it so the nucleus basalis is located somewhere in your brain and it releases like some uh, chemicals into your brain that makes you learn effortlessly and in order for you to in order in order to keep this part of your brain active and alive you need to learn all the time or not not all the time but you need to learn at least something from time to time that is really novel that is new that is of meaning and it has to be something challenging okay so that's important it's also good if you add feelings to it if it's something that as while you learn you also get this rush of feelings so that's how you keep your mind alive and open and that's how you keep this effortless learning ongoing, okay? So that's the video for today, guys. Great book. Check it out for yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
if you like this video or any of my other videos. I also hope that this video got you one step closer towards finding your limitless potential. I'll see you in my next video guys, so stay tuned. Until then, bye.